Hello, Gold participants from around the world. I'm Fleur Bickford, Program Director and MC for Gold Learning. I'm chatting today with Kathy Watson Jenna about her upcoming presentation titled Lactation Support for Infant Biomedical Challenges. Kathy will be presenting this as part of our Gold Lactation Managing Challenges at the Breast add on package. So, Kathy, welcome and thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me again, Fleur. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it is always a pleasure to have you with us. So to start with, maybe you can just give our delegates a little bit of a sneak peek into what you're going to be covering in this particular presentation. Sure. This is a, a very light speed review of some of the clinical strategies we can use for kids with uh, issues like Down syndrome, cardiac issues, respiratory problems, uh, structural problems, but not tongue tie. <laughs> and uh, the things that we can do to help them to breastfeed. It, it's, um, I know most gold participants are, are very um, experienced and very well educated lactation professionals from around the world. So this is just some added um, strategies that they may be able to use for kids with, with significant medical issues. That's fantastic. And of course, I've had a little bit of a sneak peek at your PowerPoint, and I know there's lots of great uh, pictures and tips and tricks and stuff coming up in this presentation. So very excited about that. And um, I think it's great that there's nothing about tongue tie, actually, because it's, you know, there's often a lot of focus on tongue tie. But of course, there's lots of other things that can cause challenges with, uh, you know, sex, swallow, breathe for these babies. So it's fantastic to have a look at what some of those other issues are. Absolutely. Um, and there are things that we, you know, we're just seeing hints of in the research that can be big confounders for tongue tie. But that's, you know, that's something that I'm just working on. And under another, uh, you know, another hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you tell us just a little bit about what you hope delegates will be able to take away from your presentation and take back to their own practices? Sure, well, the I think the biggest thing is not to count any baby out. Uh, many babies will do better on breast than bottle, particularly if there are cardiorespiratory issues. So I think that that's really important for people to remember. Um, a lot of times when a baby's medically fragile, the first thing that'll, that'll go is the breastfeeding because many times hospital staff is inexperienced with breastfeeding and afraid of it. But many of these babies do better on breastfeeding, especially when we use some little, little tips and tricks to help them. Okay, that is such a great point and I find that really interesting because um, you hear so often about, you know, moms being told, well, no, it's too much hard work for your baby to be abreast and your baby can't go to breast because they're going to burn too many calories and it's easier to bottle feed. So, really Exactly, and none of that is true. Mm -hmm. So really excited to hear more about that in your uh, your presentation because I know, you know, a lot of us have faced that um, and knowing how to respond to that is, is really great. So excited for that. So uh, just a minute ago as we were chatting, you alluded to something that you're working on, you know, under another hat. So tell us a little bit about kind of what's next for you or what other projects are you working on at the moment? I know you've always got lots going on. I'd love to hear what you're working on now. Well, I've got this wonderful uh, research collaboration going with uh, Columbia University and Tel Aviv University Departments of Biomedical Engineering, and we've got an, a, a number of breastfeeding-related research projects that we're in various phases of. So we're doing things like looking at nipple size, shape, and reaction to vacuum in mothers of different BMIs and different ethnic backgrounds. And we're, we're looking at tongue movement during suck in uh, using Dr. Alad's objective analysis. Um, very, really, really interesting stuff. I'm so excited to be working with, with these really awesome human beings. That's fantastic, and that sounds really exciting. Definitely looking forward to hearing more about that as you start getting results from all of that. It's always exciting to hear about what you're working on. And uh, for our delegates who are listening, of course, you will be able to hear more from Kathy in her upcoming presentation. And again, that's titled Lactation Support for Infant Biomedical Challenges, and it is available as the 
as part of the managing challenges at the breast add-on packages, uh, which of course is part of Gold Lactation 2017. So Kathy, thank you so much for being with us and thank you everyone for joining.